Good afternoon. My name is Johannes Lutz, and my PhD field research started right here. I know someone had to do it. Now, you thought climate migration means migrating to a more agreeable climate. Not so. This is the Tolon Atoll in the Pacific. On this small island state, sea level has risen so much that the islanders are already evacuating and leaving their island. John Schellenhuber, eminent scientist and senior advisor to the German government, once said, when we talk about a one meter rise in global sea level, we're also talking about 500 million people who are going to have to look for new homes. So far, we don't have any instruments to manage this. A few years ago, I thought about this. If we don't have any instruments to manage this, why don't I create one? I know very modest. <laughs> At the time, I considered Australia a fitting place for such a PhD study. Australia has much land, few people, many cultures, and Australia is a major per capita contributor to the climate migration issue. I was sure the Australian people would be sympathetic to climate migrants, and so I came. I quickly found I was not the only one studying this and that there was a lively debate going on in the research community. During my literature review, I discovered that this debate was dominated by academics and needed to be informed by climate migrants. So I designed a strong humanitarian PhD research project with an emphasis on meeting climate migrants and doing field work. After a pilot study in the Tulun Atoll, I also did other case studies. In Bolivia, I studied drought and migration. In Bangladesh and India, I studied cyclones and migration in the slums. In the Maldives, I observed a small island state experiment with artificially raised concrete islands. And in the Philippines, I studied resettlement villages for typhoon flood victims. The findings are fascinating. If you want to know more, you can read my thesis. <laughs> Two things I can say. Finding number one, it appears climate migrants want to stay in their countries, if at all possible. This makes adaptation measures in their countries an urgent priority. Finding number two, some climate migration cannot be prevented by mitigation or adaptation. So it actually makes a lot of sense to tackle this issue before it deteriorates into a full-blown humanitarian disaster. In short, disasters destroy development but preparedness protects progress. This, then, is what my PhD study seeks to promote. In closing, I thank World Vision for the research support and thank you for your attention. There are various reasons we picked this contestant, such as confidence, preparedness, relevance to society today, ability to engage the audience, the ability to explain it in a way simple enough for even teenagers with no prior knowledge to understand, and the humorous element that many of us really appreciated. And so the Spy Award goes to Johannes Lutz with his three-minute thesis on climate migration. <laughs> <laughs>